Hey guys, we're gonna check in with Chef Corbin and see what he's got cooking in the kitchen. And he's from One World Catering. Hi, Chef Corbin. Hey there. How's it going? It's going great. Good, looks like we're with Addy over here. We are. Awesome, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to make some crepes. Yum. And if you're not familiar with crepes, they're just very thin French style pancakes. Nice, and they're really like thin, aren't they? They're super thin, yes, mm. they are. And they're usually either rolled or folded, and then you can put all kinds of different fillings inside. Nice. Well, I can't wait to see how we do it. It's really easy, but it's also pretty fun. So <laughs> Addie's going to demonstrate. So, first of all, I made a batter. It's a very thin, light, loose-looking batter. This batter has um, white flour, buckwheat flour, milk, buttermilk, eggs, and just a pinch of salt. Mm. So it's kind of a sweet, savory type of a thing. You could use it for a, a dessert type of a dish or for a savory um, cheese or meat-filled uh, crepe as well. Yeah, get the best of both worlds. Right, <laughs> yes. So we're gonna take about one ladle full of this batter and pour it into our little flat-bottomed crepe pan. It has very shallow edges so that you can flip the crepes easily. Um, we have that preheated on our stove, and Addie's going to take the batter, put it in the pan. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. Addie, you have the water. swirl down. You got to swirl it to kind of get it to cover the whole surface. Good job. Now we'll just let it cook. Mm. So then we let it just kind of cook slowly until you see some bubbles form on the surface and it'll get dry around the edges and that's how we know it's ready to flip. What are you going to be putting in the crepe today? So I let Addie choose what she wanted to put in it and she chose some Nutella and some sliced bananas and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. Right My back. stomach is rumbling. That sounds so <laughs> good. So let's see how we're looking. It's getting firm. It's not moving around yeah. in the pan anymore, so it's almost ready to turn. What a beautiful color, too. It just darkened up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And if you can smell it, it smells kind of like uh, some fresh baked bread, almost. Ah! Okay. So we're almost ready to flip. Still a little soft, so I'm going to let it go. Just another minute. You said you wait to see bubbles come up from the top. That, that reminds me of my mom would tell me that with pancakes too. You're right. It's very much the same technique. It's just a thinner, looser batter, so it spreads out more and becomes thinner and not as puffy and thick as a, a traditional pancake. Mm. Should we? Would we like to get some of our fillings prepared? Yes, we should do that. That's a good idea. I do have the bananas sliced nice. already, so we're ready for that. And I have some Nutella here. I have a little spreader we're going to use to put Nutella in. <laughs> All right, and now I think we're ready. We're going to slide it right off the pan. That looks so and beautiful. And we're going to fill it the way she likes. Yum. It's no holding delicious. back, Addy. I like Chocolate it. Chocolate and Nutella. And what kid doesn't like Nutella? <laughs> Good, Addy. You're going to cover the whole surface? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's meticulous. That's a sign of a good chef. Yum. And are there different ways to, to fold the crepe? Or is there like any particular way that you like to do? Well, the easiest way is just to kind of roll it up into a log, and that's how I normally do it. But you could also just fold it in half or fold it into a little triangle. There's a lot of ways you can wrap it up. Okay. There's also <clears throat> some classic French desserts where you take a whole bunch of crepes and just layer them on one on top of the other and turn that into like a cake. And then uh, you just slice it and eat it like a cake. That okay, sounds... so I'm rolling it up now. Oh, nice into a log or a burrito shape. Yum. And then I've got, got 
some powdered sugar here that we're gonna sprinkle right over the top. Yep. The piece there de resistance. Yep. That looks beautiful. Thank you so much, Addy and Chef Corbin. And we'll, we'll see you it. next time. <laughs> All right. All right.